Right, it's military camp time. I've got as much of my British stuff together as I can lay my hands on. Got my hat, as opposed to my beret, because it's raining, and I didn't want a soggy beret around my head all night. Got the MTP smock, the woolly pulley, the green shirt underneath, and you can't see from this angle, but I've got the matching trousers and my military boots. I shall come back to you when I've got camp set up, and I'll show you the rest of the gear I'm going to use. Right, shelter's up. Looks like a dog's breakfast, because I had to do it in a real hurry, because it started to lash it with rain. It's eased off a bit now. Gore-Tex bivy bag. Current issue, medium weight bag. Cheating slightly. UL80 sleep mat, because I'm getting old. I need something more comfortable. Cooking. The old Crusader style cooks it, cup, water and whatever. I've got my NATO knife for splitting some wood later. NATO Laplander for cutting some wood. All carried in in the old Bergen. Sadly not in MTP, but hey, that's what I've got. And my rations. Uh, I don't know what's in here. I don't know what the glass is on. I've got all day breakfast. A pasta meal for tonight of some description and various snacks and whatever in there hopefully i might be able to film this a bit better with a better view when this rain stops go camping in the rain yeah it'd be fun yeah oh fuck love it, it. i love it Welcome back. As you can see, there's been a shelter change. Um, I just got annoyed with the way it was beforehand. The water was puddling on the back and I don't know, it just wasn't right. It didn't feel right. So I went to a, a tried and tested method that I know I've got plenty of room, plenty of coverage. And if the rain comes down again, I'll stay dry. So yeah, after a lot of mucking about, two shelter changes, getting a bit muddy I finally think I'm settled <laughs> for 10 minutes and then I'll change my mind and do it all again of course but uh, we just have to do these things sometimes don't we Right, um, we've just been having a little discussion and I've decided to do this short video clip as a bit of a, a preemptive strike, shall I say. Um, I suppose others of you will also get this if you use military kit. Maybe I'll just put this down a minute. Whenever you do a video using military or surplus equipment, 
you often get um, an ex-military type come on and give you grief for it. I've had it quite a bit in the past. Uh, so just to say in advance, this jumper I've got on, the old woolly pulley, it is surplus. Um, so yes, it's not mine originally. Therefore, this is not my rank. This is not my skill at arms badge. This is whoever the original owner was. The reason it's still on there, he's made such a fine job <laughs> putting it on. If I tried to cut that the stitching and get that off, I'd end up with a hole in the jumper. So I'm not going to do it. Um, if the military were that worried about other people wearing someone's rank, um, they should remove them before selling them, in my opinion. So that's just uh, to put things straight for people before I get all the silly comments. Um, all my gear is surplus. No, I'm not military. I hope that clears that up. Right, as it's a damp and miserable time at the moment, I'm going to have a nice fire this evening, dry things out a little bit, and I'm going to head just up into the pines there and uh, find some dry kindling, make life a little bit easy, get the fire going, see what we can find. That's what I was looking for. Nice load of dry stuff, well up off the floor, sheltered, that'll go well. made a mallet. I've kept that bit specially for using as a, a whacker. And a baton? Yes, of sorts. That's the first thing out of the ration pack. We have got meatballs and pasta. Or at least that's what it looks like it's written. Because I haven't got my glasses on. But I'm pretty sure it's meatballs and pasta. Which should be fine. Just wait for that to warm up. 
and then the water that's in there will also be for my coffee. Right now I've opened the pack, I can confirm it is meatballs and pasta. It's, don't smell that, you know, clever, so to speak. Got some decent sized meatballs in it though. That's surprising. It actually tastes nice. I say the smell doesn't smell like any meatballs and pasta that I've ever cooked. But uh, apart from the smell, taste is fine. So that's what matters, isn't it, really? I'll get on with this scoff because you don't want to sit and watch me eating, do you? Well, that's dinner done and it was quite pleasant. So uh, finished my coffee. And while we've got this dry spell, not quite sure how long it's going to be dry for cut some more wood because I've got a funny feeling we're going to need a decent fire um, it's fairly sheltered where we are we are sort of under the trees but it's it's enough to be miserable if it's piddling down so get a good fire on the go always makes you feel better but of course that means cutting more wood not my favorite job <coughs> right See if we can defeat this damp weather. Do a little bit cheating as well. <laughs> Be rude not to. Right, fire's lit, dinner's done, time for beer. Hobgoblin Ruby, quite like this, haven't had it for a while, make a nice change. Cheers. Ooh. If you wonder what that sudden bright light is over there, that's not the fire, that's Mark. <laughs> He's just put his, his light on top of his camera. It's like he's turned the sun on. <laughs> I'm gonna get a tan on one side. God, bloody hell. Uh, oh, nice. <laughs> well, it's a Saturday night, which means by the time this video comes out, it will be Sunday, the Sunday of the Euro football final. England and Italy. How do we think that's gonna go? I'm not that bothered either way, to be honest, because I'm not really a follower of football. But it would be nice to see England win, wouldn't it? Um, so, yeah. Any of people watching this that are proper football fans, 
I hope you have an enjoyable match to watch tomorrow. No, today by the time you watch this. Um, I will be watching it myself, purely because it's a, a big game. But um, yeah, should be interesting. Let's hope England does all right. Even if they don't win, as long as they don't sort of disgrace themselves and put on a, a decent show, I think most people would be happy with that. Right, that's tonight's camping light. Sticking with the military theme, red glow stick. It's not, uh, they're not over bright, but I'd be surprised once that's pitch black, there will be enough for me to see what I'm doing when I go to bed. The only bastard is, of course, you can't switch them off. Right, snack time. Had a quick delve in the old ration pack. Some fruit cubes. Let's see what they're. See what they're like. Fruit cubes. Yeah, fruit cubes. Let's see if I can get in the packet. <laughs> I can't open it. Hang on. Pen knife. Even brought the British Army pen knife. Squares of jelly babies. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Different. I was expecting to do proper fruit. Mm. Right, it's bedtime. Under my shelter, in the bivvy, in the medium white sleeping bag. I should be plenty warm enough, although I am going to bed with my jumper on to start. See how I get on. I can always take it off. Um, but I'm not not too sure what the temperature is going to be tonight or you know how warm I'm going to be in this setup, especially with the um, UL80 sleep mat. This is the first time I've used it properly, um, so I don't know, you know how it's going to insulate and that sort of thing. So it's all very much trial and error. So jump at a start, might end up taking it off if I get too hot. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. Morning. Well, I had a really nice sleep. I was lovely and warm. I had to take my jumper off. I got too warm. Um, oh, lovely. Mm. And this new sleep mat was worth getting. That's quite comfy. Not bad at all. But it doesn't matter how comfy I am and how warm I am. Now I'm awake, I want coffee. <laughs> mm. Mr. Mark. Morning. Did you sleep well? I did. Good. Just not enough. Just not enough. <laughs> no, I slept all right. I slept all right. It was nice and warm and comfy. Good, good. Nice, and you've got your coffee now. That's all that matters. My anti-murdery juicy juice. Yeah. Yes. Not a bad location, this. First time we've been here. Nice little quiet bit of woodland. Mm. 
on the edge of the valley so it's sort of flattish where we've set up there but if you you'll see from here just just down in in that little gully just down in there there's a, a stream running and it's it's a natural spring and there's no farms or anything in the area or houses or anything like that so there's no no nasty runoff into it so it is fresh water obviously still boil it for safety and filter it but uh, it's handy to have it there but yeah quite quite a nice little spot traditional woodland here but we're we're right on the edge of this pine plantation so that's how he's able to get you know the nice dry kindling to get the fire going last night quite enjoyed that and that's all packed away not uh doesn't look too bad but you know you can never leave no trace as people are so fond of saying the ground's always gonna be flattened it's always gonna be a bit stirred up especially when it's as wet and muddy as it was last night everything's rammed back in the bergen there it looks twice as big now because uh I haven't packed it properly. Obviously, wet stuff. I've had to separate it from stuff I want to keep dry, and you know, it's always taking up a bit more room. And if I spin right round, oh, a bit skew if hang on. Mark's just packing his tent, and this area here is where we had the fire. All covered, all cleaned up. The best we can do. Any rubbish is in the bag, which we're obviously carrying out with us, so there'll be no rubbish left behind. So apart from a little bit of uh, disturbed ground, it shouldn't be too bad. Right, that's the British Army kit wild camp complete. Ready to walk out. I uh, don't know what I'm going to do next. I might do the same sort of thing, but with my German kit. So it'll be a full uh, flak time turn out don't know yet depends on the weather depends what happens but thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one